So yes, we can we can write. Uh, well, I think like also like we are a bit like maybe we should say to the other viewer, like if some people are watching us on YouTube, that we had trouble uh, installing Inla uh, inside the GitHub action that render the book. But uh, John helped us a lot and we should be able to push our notes to the GitHub repo and it should render with Inla inside, hopefully. If not, we'll maybe have to act some way to better um, better doing it. Yeah. Um, do, do you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, um, what um, other stuff should I add? So we are working like to, like even if we do not understand everything, I think we are progressing. And if you want, like uh, we are sharing like what we understand and link also in the Slack of Air for Data Science. So feel free to go here and check like um, how we do it. Um, yes, what should also say? Um, and yes, it's 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 a difficult uh, it's a difficult topic. It touched like. Uh, lot of stuff we have also to say like i feel lot it's it's uh, it's rely on uh, very recently published papers and the software are also very new so there is a lot of uh, small glitch that we need to understand before like being like at least uh, competent but yeah hopefully uh, we have a better, I think like with this chapter, I have a better understanding of why it was a hierarchical model. And I understand more like how they, they relate to each other, the level of the hierarchy. So when you are ready for the I think we can go. I think I will interrupt uh, a bit and maybe we will try some stuff also at times. I can share a few stuff then. Yeah, sorry, now I'm muted. <laughs> okay, yes, I'm, I'm just trying to, um, to share the things probably. Yeah. Just show my background. Uh, just give me a, uh, one more second. Yes, uh, I think I. Um, okay. And I'd like to show you something that um, so uh, to all of you that we we share it on Slack. Okay, yeah, yeah. That, that that's nice. And it's just that I have some. Uh, I use this idea, and so thinking about this uh, beta uh, composition, so it's 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 now difficult. So now. Basically, I've started learning R with tidyverse. Yeah. So I I use beta, okay, but not that much. And I don't. I'm not from beta getting to the tidyverse. So I jumped into R with tidyverse, and so learn beta. So when I see this composition with beta, sometimes I, <laughs> you know, what is it? Yeah, yeah. The author uses a lot of base R function, uh, which kind of are good and bad because, like, they're good because obviously, like, uh, uh, they rely less on tidyverse. But I feel sometimes you can totally like reproduce it with tidyverse, and it's a good exercise, also. I feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I did C plus uh, and 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 even before basic and all the things. It's not that, but you know, the idea is like more for my mind. Yes, this is why there's many languages, you know. Yes, but for my mind, it's it's like I don't know. I can get it quickly. But anyway, uh, I'll share. Uh, do you remember where we left? <laughs> yeah, no, we can. I mean, we can like just like go back. Like I think we can. Sh um, uh, let me think. Uh, we can go back a bit on the SPSF object. Uh, just okay. uh, if you can, like, oh, John just 
said on the chat, the build was complete. So maybe maybe we'll be able to share our notes and I have to, to update yeah. uh, the chapter four. And, and the, uh, the chapter four, not chapter yeah. five. And five. Okay. So yes. So, so we have to focus uh, a lot on this book, and the book is hard. Like so, there's no like, um, and we are just three. So if if other people want to join us, feel free. So more we are, better we'll be able to understand it together. I think it's still dark. It will happen. Maybe waiting a bit. So dark screen. My my. Oh, perfect. Am I am I on my so yeah? Can you see my notes? Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can go back a bit on the spatial neighborhood matrix quickly. I think I think you present it well, like the all the 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 the, the underlying of it, like the mod, the the mat behind it and the, the stuff behind it. Uh, let me check. Just like uh, it's good to see a bit below. Like we we can the code just yeah maybe we can go to the code. So here I think you can convert di directly the the SP object to SF and do the whole workflow with SF. I do not think it changed too much because poly two NB also can take a SF object. So you do not need like uh, <clears throat> letters, like if we go down a bit, also it will help. This is good like to check at least like the head of, um, of uh, the results of poly and B, a bit higher maybe. Because, because poly and B, what, what is poly and B returning? It will return like uh, a list that contain uh, basically a sub list but it's just like a vector inside of it which each number like for example one two three here are the just first three numbers of it and we will have 67 because we have 67 polygon and 28 1 28 67 return the indexes of every polygons so the first polygon means that is is uh is like his numbers are 21 28 and 67 and this is what will be encoded later uh, in the in la graph um, in la graph uh, file. At one point, we'll produce this in la graph, and this is basically the same, but it will be presented a bit differently. So uh, yes, we can go down a bit on that. Uh, Paula uses a lot the rep zero length of something. The author. You can simplify it, but uh, she uses it even like we, we check in with Federica or code in Spatial AP. Uh, she's very ex explicit about it, so, uh, but it's fine. No worries. We can like, no need like, uh, oh, you are like trying it. <laughs> so we can go and if we, we if we, <clears throat> like a lot of this code also, like if here the lat long, I was a bit confused why we are generating the centroid of uh, long lats. But it's 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 per, uh, I think it's mostly for displaying the map, so we can have like a, a good understanding of uh, the neighbor. Like if you can go down a bit for the car, just to display the the map. Yeah. So here you see like the the number one, for example, was the one that have like the neighborhood 28, 21 and 67 from the or uh, and b but we just ask it for 58 44 and 2 and this is it so this was mostly uh a lot of the code were mostly used at this level to display a good map so it's not needed letters i mean it will be needed but uh, not for uh not at this level yeah perfect and that's it but uh, it will be used uh, on the in lab function because it requires you to use the ID uh, on lot of function uh, inside of the formula, the F function that you use to get random effects. Um, I, 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 I also can share you later like some good link on, about fixed and random effects. 
so if you need to be like refresh yourself about what is a random effect and what is a pixel effect, or if you are true ball understanding like me, uh, like uh, it's very like uh, it's difficult because in statistics you have lots of different uh, definition of what is a fixed and a random effect. So in a Bayesian yeah. context, I will link you like to some link letters so you can read it about it. There is a very nice Stack Overflow uh, question about it, and uh, it link also like with some uh, research papers. Uh, a lot of them and the explanation, I feel the two first answer are very good and it helps a lot. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, because you see NB is a list. So if you want to, uh, can you share the link? Yeah, sure. Uh, I will do that now. Um, where is my, uh, it's on, it's on Emacs, so I have to charge uh, my, um, and I will share it. Uh, yeah, my, my chat doesn't, doesn't appear. Where is it? Okay, I think I'm, I'm sharing it on the chat. Uh, wait, here yeah, I clicked too many times. Sorry, yeah, your yeah, screen sharing is closed. Up here, yeah, like this is a very good, uh, I think this is a very good stack exchange about it. And uh, it also makes sense well if you can have trouble understanding what is the random effect was a fixed effect. I will say in the context, like just for now, to my understanding, like a, a random effect is uh, an effect where uh, in case of partial pooling or shrinkage, we are balancing um, the knowledge we have on the first hierarchical group and the second hierarchical group. Like, and uh, it's not just like a fixed effect where you know this, let's say, parallel slope. Like we know, like they are both separated. Here we know they are linked together, these two level, and uh, you need to adjust uh, the effect to these two level. This is how I understand it. But like totally, like read the link uh, that we share on the chat, and uh, I think it make a very yeah, there's two answer on this question on the stack overflow. That provide also bibliography that are very, I think, uh, thorough enter. So uh, basically, with inla, all random effects are set inside the f function. We'll see that a bit later, I think. But this random uh, effect here will uh, will have you will use some kind of specific kind of random effect, which is a special effect. But and we will see that later with the car model, conditional autoregressive model. But so this part, uh, because the, the neighborhood part will be used later in this um, uh, conditional autoregressive model. I mean, yeah, model, let's say. So it's good, like uh, it's used later. <laughs> so we can go, I think, in this, the standard uh, uh, ratio, I think, no? I do not okay. have any things to say here. Maybe others. Federica, do you have like? You, you can, you can um, ask me. Oh, I, I couldn't hear you correctly. Uh, I'm just yes. so, this is doubling. I, I'm not hearing you correctly. Still, uh, I am the only one. Alou, Alou Afemi, do you heard Federica well? No, no, no. Oh, okay. So I'm not like. So maybe so, some stuff on your mic. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's better. Sorry. Uh, I said I uh, allowed you to control my. So you like. Oh, okay. No. Yes, right. That's I do, I do not know how it works, but uh, it's good. I think we can go on the next places quickly. So I had trouble. Yeah, go ahead. You know, you are still bubbling a lot. Yeah. Oh. 
Um, yeah, take your time. We are in no hurry, you know. If you want to add something, uh, on. I can, I can, I can, I can speak about it about that, like because I didn't. I tried to reproduce it. I and uh, I couldn't. Uh, this uh, standard uh, incidence ratio. I have trouble like uh, reproducing it um, because like. Uh, uh, well, you can see my code in the Slack, um, but, but uh, then uh, Federica, because like the special API package is on GitHub, you can also um, check how uh, they were calculating. The basically like the part that I was struggling was the E part, like the expected counts. And uh, I think the book uh, went a bit too quickly about that because what the expected uh, expected function does is like it expects the every counts for every uh, strata. So you see like in this case, uh, you have like 16 strata, you have male, female, uh, uh, age, and I think, I do not remember the last one, but we have another cases, I do not remember. And, uh, and, and basically, the, I thought uh, I could just use the uh, the, the, um, the the population per area, calculate the the, the total rate, like the um, the rate from the Pennsylvania. Then, when you multiply the rates, this is this uh, this equation, like the expected the expected is the rate times the um, times the um the population and uh, uh the but the in fact the expected by the expected function is calculated by every strata then added if you check the codes uh so if you just and that's why you need also to it to be ordered like the this this code i do not understand why because like the function is like looping over every every row to do it. So uh, if it's not in the same orders, it will uh, it will not correct. And that's why I had distinction. Uh, that's why I didn't have like the same results that the why doing it like uh, by hands. Let's say by hands, as uh, done with the expected function. So the, but like if you if you understand like uh, you are calculating the expecting for every strata then adding it it make uh, the, it make every, every more, it makes sense so this was, was like was I was struggling so that's it uh, 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 maybe I can share my screen now I'm so yes will be easier this time like uh, the time that Frederica like is uh, is uh, is doing it uh, share screen save share okay building display share uh do you see mine now this this was like the post like on the stack overflow and cross validated this is very like uh, but these two answer like this one and this one are also like um very good so feel free like to check it uh so let's go back to the book uh so yes uh i can show you like Tool, global option. Now, before, probably good enough. So, option uh, is bad, but hopefully it will work a bit higher. So this was what I was doing. So I was like, let let's uh, let's do that. I was calculating the global rate, the rate S. So it was the sum of the cases divided by the sum of the population, which gives you the rate S. And then I was like, uh, summarize it for every county. Uh, it's a group by of the data by counties, uh, where I just calculated the to total uh, number of population per case. Mm -hmm. Then uh, the total. Uh, Okay, the number of the population of every county. So you have the Pennsylvania, and I was doing that. And then I just like calculated, uh, which I thought was just the population times 
of every um, of every county time the race. This is where I was wrong. I think this uh, you need to calculate for every data. That, uh, if I go like Frederica, I've shared that on the slide so I can go on it up and show you the function. So this is like the expected function. Like can't I I I I put it? But I will copy past in uh, in uh, in R so you can uh, all see. Oliver, Oliver, if you if you just type expected on oh, R, yeah, yeah. I, the I, I, I could have get it That's right. You, yeah, you you're right. Okay, in the console, uh, just type uh, expected and hit enter without any practice. Right. I hope I have loaded expected. Yeah, it's loaded. So, yeah, I have it here. Okay. So let me, yeah. Like, this is the function. So, see it loop over, like, uh, over st every strata to calculate the same calculation that I have done, but it does that uh, not at the county level, it's done that at every... So one good point is that like, it's good that it's open source, so we can check it and see like why we were wrong. Okay, yeah. so this yeah. was it. I, 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 um, yeah. I have something to add about that. Sure. Yeah, uh, can, can I uh, show you something? Uh, yeah, sure. Should I uh, stop sharing my stream then? Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you what, what I was, uh, what I did it. Not displaying, yeah, another screen probably. Okay. But the sound is good, Frederica. Now the sound is perfect yeah, I, now. Yeah, I think it is. Yes. So now, can can you see my R? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So this is um um, what's happened here? Basically, this is the, the function. Yeah, this is the function. Okay. So uh, basically, um, what does is uh, calculating the um, uh, this n, which is uh, yes. seven, and it's the number because if basically, okay, let let's start from here. This is these are the data, okay. Uh, this yeah. are. Uh, our data. If I count by county, you see that each county has 16 um, elements. Okay. Yeah. So uh, these are the, 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 the number that is considered as a strata. Okay. So yeah. uh, what this function does is calculating uh, the number of county we know, but inside the, because it's a general function that you can use with other, with other data. So you have uh, 67, uh, the, this um, length of the population divided by strata. And yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, the strata is calculated as, as we said. So N is 67. Then what it does, it's calculating the indexes. Okay, these indexes in the first, yeah, in the first part of the function, what is it? Uh, uh, so the, you need to set these things. Yeah. So the indexes basically. This is what the initialization, does, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What does is um, I've replicated. I've done this with uh, the number one. Yeah. Sure. So if you see this, this uh, would be, um, again, 67 uh, elements that yeah. go, okay, um, and um, they are 
so basically you you have one to 60 to 16 and then 17 yeah. to 32 and then so it, it grabs the first index to, yeah. to say that so th this way my, my doubt on this function is that when um basically this is the, the data okay so basically this way he found the first line for each county yeah okay so you see that uh, like here uh this is butler it, it's row uh 145 yeah if I do on bradford uh sorry bucks this is 129 so basically he find the index where the county starts his uh, strata yeah okay so then this is the uh, numerator yeah and this is the this the denominator to yeah. the case the case and the population for every index yeah but we have this q okay yeah and this is multiplied by the index. Yes, the population. To, to obtain the expected. Yeah, this is the rate by uh, by by county, I guess. Yeah. So let let's imagine that I did it for the first county. Yeah. Okay. So if I run this, let's see the results of Q. And I even uh, made a data frame. Okay, as you can see, this data frame, here are, is the strata from yeah. one to 16. Here I have the Q the denominator, the Q denominator, and then, it, so <clears throat> the, this weight, it's uh, just from one to 16, just for the, the, the strata of each county. Okay. Then what's happened to calculate the uh, expected here in this case, we can see it just for the first county. So yeah. I, yeah, in fact, oh, no. this is not correct because no. yeah, you need to sum this with all the other pieces and then obtain this is the first straight. So we have 16 straight oh. for Adam, for example. Yeah. Okay. And this is the first straight of Adam. So okay. I should uh, do this for like uh, straight two and straight three and, uh, and so on and so forth. Yeah, you need to do the loop here. Yeah. If, if we see. If, if we run this uh, thing, um, where is it here? Okay, because I modified. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. As you can see. Uh, we get 67, but it's not correct. Yeah, 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 it's 67, but I've just modified because I was looking yeah, at Yeah, yeah, sure. Life coding is up, but it's good that you you, you are good doing it. It's awesome. Uh, this is not. Okay. So basically what's happened here is that I have the land. Okay, I said the strata. Calculate yeah. the n. Uh, the n is sixty-seven. Then I start doing the, the, the example with the first index. Yeah. So the num, q, uh, numer numerator, denominator, and I calculate the q. So this is to show the things. Now what's happened here? This is done. Okay. So what's happened here that I do in general? So I set a, a new vector for the expected new vector for the numerator, the numerator, and for the weight. Okay, they are all zero. Yeah. Okay, 
So then I run the first four loop. Yeah. Calculate the denominator and um, okay. In fact, if I ever look at the Q number, I have yeah. some uh, numbers and Q the num, I have some numbers. Yes. Now, the population. Yeah. Okay. And they are 16. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't like you. <laughs> yes, I, I touched something. Uh, this is inside of the loop or not? I'm lost. You don't need to return it because, like, uh, you are not in the function. Uh, I touched something, so. Uh, but anyway, uh, so basically, this yeah. is for loop. And then, if I, uh, what I did it is, oh, okay, I missed this thing. Yeah. Uh, I grabbed this other bit. Yeah, and it should work. Forget about that. Yeah, the, the Q was. I still love this uh, alt, uh, alt yeah. stuff. Very okay, useful. So let, let's start back. So yeah, da, sure. Da, da, da. Now I have the Q. Yeah, made let's see, check. Okay. Good. Yeah. I do that. It, it's oh. Error Y. Oh, yeah, because like you are looping on all of them and you just have calculate for one on the top of your. I don't know. E M M. There are only three columns, I think. Uh... No, I don't. Population get... and this is. Oh, well, population and this is not the correct term. It should be like. Uh, uh plan population something ah, okay yeah 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 sorry sorry about that sorry thank you very much thank no you no worries no worries yeah 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 here okay it works yeah, yeah. thank you very much yeah. that it is yeah it's it's the correct number Woo! <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that i think it's a correct number not i'm sure but i think it's a correct number I, I did mess around because I was trying to set up a, a table uh, yeah. and showing you the the, the steps. But uh, uh, at the end, so if, if you can see this table is just of 16, instead yeah. the, uh, the, res the final result is for... Actually, I think it's good. The, 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 oh. Yeah, 69.6, it's good. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's that one, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. So yeah, good job. It's it's no, understandable. It's it's it, it's super useful. I think what you have done is super useful. Like break the function for one cases and try to uh, uh, redo it. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I, yeah, I think this this can be done differently. Yeah, totally. I think you can totally like do a deployer version, like a tidy version, where you do not need the loop. And because like you are working row wise, I think with a group by you can do it. Uh -huh. It could be an exercise for next week. <laughs> yeah, in fact, I've tried with this group by, uh, but what's happened here that I should in, uh, include this Q because now I have the sum and of the population and this is, if you see this bit here, Within yeah. the indexes, okay. No, I'm. I think I'm going to delete this bit. That's that confusing. So, okay. Okay, but, I, but I, I think we should keep that for later and move a bit. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. To, but, to yeah. you, but I think it's very great, and uh, we can totally try to do it on the Slack. You know, yeah, try yeah. to convert this expected uh, way of doing it, like with a, a tidy version. I think it's, it could be good. 
Yeah, yeah. So let's move a bit. Like let's let's try at least to complete this chapter, even if it's not totally fully understood. Uh, so we can move on the next one. But it's great. Like I think, like sharing that is 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 very good. Okay. Yeah, we can go that way. No worries. Are you committed? No, I'm not. Uh, I'm just. A, a... Okay. okay. So we were uh, like. Let, let's go a bit on the model. I think. Yeah. Well, anyway. Uh, do you want to go or should I go? Uh, whatever is fine. Um, yeah. Just. Um, uh, I can I can go quickly on it, like, uh, or we can go on the book, whatever it's like. Yeah. OK. Can you see something? What do you see? Yeah, you perfect. See Colored map. Yeah, okay. it's it's perfect view. Yeah. Okay, so now what's happened here is a uh, uh, can can you help, help me out? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, I will I will help you out. Like first, we need to to say like there is some counties in Pennsylvania where we have low data, low amount of data. Uh -huh. uh, in this case, we have low amount of data. The CIR uh, CIR calculation make land sense because we have not enough cases. This is why we are using like a Bayesian hierarchical model uh, to bring information from other country around it, which have more, uh, more um, which bring information uh, to help us have a better estimate. Okay. And that's why like, uh, uh, if we go back to the, um, uh, you will not find a lot on that. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can. I can like. I can. Let's let's start with the why and the poison. The poison one, the uh, the poison model on top of it. Uh, for uh, to make to 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 remind everyone, a, a poison distribution uh, is discrete distribution uh, with um, <clears throat> uh, that take only one parameters. And the parameters is a number of events in a period. Uh, I had trouble first when I was reading, reading the, uh, because here you have two stuff inside of the, the Poisson uh, model. You have Y, that's so the number of cases uh, that uh, will have like um, a sickness. I do not remember which one uh, are defined by a Poisson model that take an expected times uh, no, a risk. Theta here is a risk. And in fact, if you multiply the expected by the risk, the risk by every county, this is a theta i. So this is a specific risk. That's what we want to estimate for every county times the expected. If, if you get the expected account times the risk, you get the number of cases per county. This is what you want. So this is one stuff that I trouble to understand, but reading in slowly, I finally understand. And then, so yeah, theta i is theta, the overall theta is a risk for Pennsylvania and theta i is a risk uh, for like just uh, every county. Yeah. And now we'll use a log function, a log it function, uh, because like this risk uh, will, uh, it will be contained between, um, um, it will be like um, around zero, like, and uh, we will convert it to uh, three terms. The alpha is a global risk, the overall risk on Pennsylvania. U, Y will be like our um, random effects or special effects because we will use the information around every county to get it. And V, Y will be like a random noise, which will be like um, uh, set up as a normal distribution. A normal distribution because it's just noise. Uh, it makes sense to add it as a normal distribution centered like with zero and with just like the variance. Um, and if you take that, like uh, the global risk can also alpha, like Frederica write it, can also be written as uh, a D1 times uh, beta, 
which is beta will be the vector of the coefficients we will try to um, estimate it. And uh, D1 is just the intercept times the covariance. So it's uh -huh. a bit complicated, but I uh, you should like if you have time you should check like the bias rules book club where uh -huh. we have went uh, with that. Uh, yeah, and exactly. then uh, yeah. she, what? No, no, I'm saying yeah, it's, is that, is the, it's the same D. Is that yeah, it's the same ID. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I think, and then we will use a model like the Besak York Molly that use. Uh, a conditional autoregressive, so car for C, uh, A, the all auto and regressive. That's uh, here, it's a specific version of it. But the basic idea is like you will, uh, you, so the random effect is a special effect that will basically do a small regression of its value. Uh, around, um, yeah, you can. I, I will like if you do not mind, I will just share uh, another way of writing it in, in my screen, Federica. Maybe so. Uh, I will share another way of writing it. Hopefully, I'm not less good than you with like the markdown. So, I hope I will. I will. I will, uh, I will let's new file uh, just a markdown so I can just who cares? Okay, write it so you can see it. Here, just let Markdown file. So you can also write it that way. That will be maybe I think easier to understand. Um, beta times uh, y. I guess no y. I'm not sure. Let me check. If I'm, do not have any. Yeah, beta y plus epsilon. Epsilon. I don't well, I'm sure your screen. screen. Uh, I'm not sharing my screen. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing it now. Uh, so I can like put a bit, a bit, a bit. Where are you? Where is Zoom? Zoom is here. Sharing my screen. Share. Share. Okay. Do an area maybe here. Why does it doesn't like my beta? Here. So you can also write it that way. That will maybe help other people. Like, do you see it? This uh, this is another way of writing the, oh, okay. the conditional, the condition, uh, the, the car model. This is another way of writing a car model. Like the Y is like, um, if I go back to, um, you will basically for every county, do some kind of it's not a linear but it will i mean it will be a linear because like you will use the log it uh to uh use the information like let's say like you have county one i do not remember like it have neighbor and for every county you will adjust a model uh of its the the number of cases adjusted by this neighborhood so let's say like one I have like I, I I put it random numbers I do not remember but like why uh, maybe I can check it like here let's see I will not put random numbers we'll just check it uh, with the uh, let's say map edges so here this is an object that we are generating later uh, with the inla uh, to inla I think two nb graph something like that a function that create this file that is using letters. So here, like uh, it's just like let's say one. So the county with ID one have one, two, three, four neighbors. I will write it uh, like on my untitled grid. So it's have like this is the county. This is the ID basically, ID of uh, the area we are doing it, and it have neighborhoods. Uh, I will call them neighbor. That's our. Uh, let's go back. 321 28 26 321 28 27 something like that so if i check uh i will just open a chunk also if i check uh map uh, uh one i guess map i, I do not like also like the name of I will, I will hopefully I have a map SF yeah if I check one this 
will lead us to that. So we have like this with, uh, I do not have the population here. So this is map. Let's go with pen. It's pen something, pen, LC, data, uh, and let's say population uh, cases here. And for one, I think it works. Oh, zero. So we have zero cases on one. So, but let's check like on two or three. Oh, maybe, oh yeah, because I'm, I'm, this is bad. So this is, let's, let's do that maybe. Oh, my bad. Adams maybe will work. I wasn't indexing on the correct stuff. Any. So maybe let's check. Data is how it look like. So yes, I want uh, county. So this is very base R ish. Sorry about that. Should work. Integer. No. Uh, let's meet real data. I just okay. I will. I will just do that. It would be enough. So we we see like uh, for the Adam counties. We have like the 16 value, like uh, Frederica Munchen at 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, et cetera, et cetera. We just want, the, by the way, a group by of them. We just want by county. And uh, what we will do is uh, with all the case for the Adam counties, the one counties, we'll see the neighborhood that will be like the 21 county. I do not remember which one it is, but like, this is like, uh, you should check the 28, the 27. And then we'll do like a linear model of why the Adam County equal the covariates and the um, effect. Uh, no, not the covariates. The um, let, me, let me see. Let me read it again. Uh, uh, beta is the um, do, 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 do. Um, Yeah, the the beta is like the the mean of the normal distribution, and epsilon is all the covariates of all the, the the covariates and standard deviation of the multiple distribution, and you will do that for every county. So you will basically like calculating a new value for y of all its neighborhood except himself. This is like, uh, if I go back into the, um, the book, uh, this is the, um, uh, this is here. Uh, 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 uh. See, this is the set of the neighbors uh, and the number of the neighbors. And because we are on U minus one, we are just doing two one neighbors. You can generalize this to like, let's say take the second neighbors and the third neighbors, et cetera, et cetera. This can be generalized. I don't know if it make it clear. So then the model is, is easier to understand. Like the, the formula is Y, we try to, to add Y. And so this is a random effect of F that will be defined by the ID of every of our counties. The model is the BSAC one. So this is this one. I mean, the yeah, this is this one the account model uh, will take the graph from uh, uh, the graph we have generated later. So we, it's not generated now. And the scale here is because like on the multi, uh, we could have different kind of uh, for every country. We could have different um, uh, means and standard deviation. So we scale everything. So it's, it's, it's easier to come. And then we just have like noise here. This is just like uh, the... Um, the V term, which is the, uh, so it, it just noise on every ID that's take a random distribution. Is it good? Uh, so that's it. And this is why I finally understand why it's a hierarchical model is because you are drawing, uh, you are like having the top level, which is every country and you are adjusting the top level with uh, a county around every uh, its neighborhood. So you have two novels. This is a hierarchy of everything 
and a specific country with its neighbor defined by uh, the, pre pre the, um, the previous part of special neighborhood matrix defined by that. Uh, okay. So, but that in the in the formula. So, what is the so the neighbor? How do you account of the neighbor in the formula? The currently it's not in the formula. I mean, they define it at G, but G is not defined here. Currently, we haven't defined it. I mean, in the code, like the idea, we'll see it. Like it will be defined. Uh, let me go. Uh, Tick, 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 tick. Uh, it will be defined here, see? Letters. I can go on it if you want. But first, like, we'll, we'll not, because like it's, the, she explained that, but then she will move on on using another model that used these penalized complexity priors that simplified a bit uh, this previous model here. Instead of having, um, uh, uh, um, a component, uh, it just, it just, just scale the two uh, parameter U and V with this uh, B operation around the, <clears throat> this uh, sigma B, which I still haven't understand. So instead of having a mu and V, you can use that, that will simplify it. I have not understand it correctly, but this is the idea. And instead of C having this uh, formula with two random effects, two F, we just have one because we are using this model that use this equation that simplify uh, the term that we are using uh, here for calculating U and V1. V1 is easy, by the way, but I think this is the difficult part was still like the, the mu, uh, the, the standard deviation here, but this variance, sorry, it's a variance. Uh, that's it. So uh, this is the formula that we are gonna use. See, it's still called the graph B, but we still haven't defined it. It's not defined now. Yeah, yeah. Basically, there's a mention in the chapter that it is. Huh? So you just, uh, um, okay, uh, let me see if I can find it here. First, we define the formula. Yeah. Here. Starting, uh, oh, formula uh, priors and data. Yeah, yeah. At the bottom of this page, you see the, the paragraph starting with first. No, 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 no. <laughs> Where are you going? No. Here. Bottom, bottom, bottom. No. Ah, uh, no. Sorry, not the page because um. Oh, on the. Um, yeah. Maybe this that's, one. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Let, let's go later because we have we, we are, I, I want us at least to complete this chapter. Yeah, so yeah. So we can yeah. move on a bit. And then okay. if we can still chat on it on the Slack of stuff we do not understand. So basically, like for every kind of uh, modeling you are doing, you need what? You need the formula. So we set up here. Uh, uh, ID area is just like the. Uh, it will be the, the every ID of every counties, an identifier. We'll, set, we'll define it later. The model is here, it's a new model. And uh, here she explained why she chose the, the parameters. It will be important for the prior bit later. And graph, we still haven't written it, but we'll do that later. So here, first step, now we have like our model defined as a formula. We need the ID error, which is just the row of, uh, of object. I do not understand why we are not using SF objects, but it's maybe easier to use the uh, just the data of the. Um, maybe it's easier for the calc to just use the data uh, without the geometry. I do not know. This is a question that we could we could ask. Like this part could also be like just we can drop the geometry of the SF object as just work with the data frame. Here is just the data from the SP object. We define priors. This is uh, another part of like every kind of Bayesian workflow. Here, like she explained how uh, she defined it with using the formula of the pen uh, penalized, um, what the, I, I never 
remember, or penalized complexity. I do not understand it why they, she picked the number, but when, when she picked these numbers, it makes sense to pick these priors. Uh, so this is, you are basically writing the equation of the, um, so it, yeah, you have two priors like the, and the probability, this is the for the, but this is basically just writing them. I do not understand still the, 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 the theta B, but let's go with it. Then this is where like no 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 the the that the um, this one is a p, which is the uh, is the the likelihood. This yeah, this is a, the, the p is a likelihood. This is the likelihood that uh, you uh, um, you use that uh, as you said it's um, the probability. Uh, we define the prior for maximizing the parameter phi, and um, so you use it for um, uh, it's the precision. Um, yeah, it's the precision. Yeah. It's the, the reverse of the variance. Yeah. So. But you see, like she know she she used like this uh, penalized constraint stuff. To define it, this is where I, I'm lost about it. But uh, I, I would say, like, we are short on time, so let let's uh, we can chat on it on Slack letters, maybe, because it's good if we advance at least on the chapter six in two weeks. I think. What do you think? Oh, we can spend more time. I mean, we just three of us. So. Yeah, yeah. No, no. That's that's yes. okay. That's okay. I just want to, um um. Is that you, you can just apply the this number and the this these values are explained. Yeah. Uh, so 0.5 and 0.31, and this you calculate the probability of these yeah. values inside. You see, so it's a convention way to say that one divided by the square root of the yeah. precision is this u. Yeah, but she 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 still shows like she still take big decision of values that make sense. Like for example, she decided the alpha will be 10%, I mean, 1%, it yeah, could yeah. have been another value. But yeah, she said, I think she, this... said, she said a, a, a lower value of alpha instead of the usual 5%, because we have uh, we have a matrix which is, uh, um, so uh, it, it's, it's, it's an adjustment uh to achieve precision yes so we so yeah okay so it, why not i mean I, i'm taking it you have to remember like you have a lot of prior to define and they are defined uh uh this is probably like are fixed like the press the precision is probably fixed by the model and the fee is probably fixed also so these terms are probably fixed and oh no, she maps them here. So you see PC press and PC are probably uh, important to keep. And the parameters, so it's a list of a list. This is at least a tricky part that you need to remember. So no, we have the formula. No, we have the formula. We have set up ID. We have setting up prior. No, we need the graph. The graph, this is still the same. She, she is using poly to nb to generate this file. This is the list of every neighbors. And here we'll use the function of inla, nb to inla, that will generate the small files that I have shown you here, like this one. So it generates a text file that contain, uh, like the first line is a number of uh, county or special units. And then you have like this, for every new line, you will have a new counties. The first number is an indices, and then you get the, um, the it's neighbor. So you have to keep in mind that this create a file. This is this file. Like I can can I can I increase? I cannot increase it, but it's it's a file. Uh, let's see in terminal maybe I can do that. Yeah, 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 it's my border uh, file, but yeah, it's have like the ls uh, map. Ag. See, it's a, it, it create a file here. So it create a file that's called map ag, our, where you decide to create. 
And this file, so it, it, you have like, for example, when you push it to GitHub, you can decide or not to push it. So this is, this have like concrete, uh, uh, like, okay. yeah, do not be surprised that it, it create a file. Okay, so let, let's go back here. Then this is the file that have been called by the inline read graph that will produce the GIF that we use in the formula. So I can go back like in my, uh, in my, uh, in my console and here you will see like the G produce a list of lists. So it's a, a complex object. The, uh, if we do structs, it will be maybe easier than just displaying the list. So you see like the class is an inla graph. Uh, and it has two, um, so it, it generates like the first list, the first element of the list n, it's still the integers. Then it calculates the numbers of the neighbors and with the, for every kind. So let's see the first one have three, the second one have five. This is the number of the neighbors. Then it lists all the numbers. We can see like first one, 21, 28, 27, this is three. Three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, this is five, et cetera, et cetera. Just like, so it, it gives you like, so the other the neighbors, this is just the, a list of uh, every neighbors, of indices of every neighbors. We can also see like, obviously it work well. So if we check like 21 of one, if we go like to the 21 one, uh, one we should have like, this is probably this one. So it's, it's make, uh, this is, this, the, the, the link are, are reverse obviously. And then I do not have understand what CC means but it's also like another your, your, your object uh, because like the all the value are one. So I guess it's maybe weight on something like that. I do not know the purposes of it. And that's it. So I have like still stuff that I do not understand in this object, but it's, it's, it's used by, the, <clears throat> by this inline read graph to read it. Okay, now we have a G. Uh, we have our function, we define the prior. This is this was defined here, here. And then uh, we just run in lab, which I have done, I think. Let me go. It was quick, like if I go rest, let's see if I have done it. Yes, I have done it. So it was, it was, was a quick way. I think it tell you like the time used, I think it's seconds. So it take like five seconds. I do not know like if I should come, we can probably build this model with like a, a Monte Carlo chain. I will try to do that later if I have time and see how long uh, we need to generate all of that. But here it, on my laptop, it takes five seconds, a bit less. Uh, that's it. Um, let's go back to the book. I know we can have like a summary of it. Uh, I will go maybe we can spend more time letters because like we're late so i will try to just go like here uh, we'll probably skip the spatial temporal one and with letters or maybe pass i don't know what you think uh what i found nice is like so if you are just interested into the fitted value the summary of them like this is summary that fitted value so for every county you will get the new cir like for example uh, if you remember the first we get like, uh, we have like 0 0.69, I see, 79, I think. No, this is a bit different, but you can see like, it's still the 0 0.69, it's still uh, inside of the quantile of possible value. And what I found very nice is like, because like we have like uh, this mean, the standard deviation and the quantile, you can do a map that you show uh from like the obviously this is like the grr i think are like the mean and you can plot the quantile so now instead of just having the cir fixed you can also display the uncertainty of it which i think is a huge plus of the method no and i didn't know uh co um what's the name of it co plot co co what's the name of it the, this function uh, let me check uh, what's the name of it. Uh, 
yeah, co-plot, so, which is nice to like uh, do it. Uh, I will, and then you can like uh, have other parameters like she show. Um, you can also access the value of uh, you and stuff like that, and plot it. Yeah, but well, I've I've made my the notes eh, about these things. Yeah, so they show it. For, sorry. Uh, I just no, no, that that, that's good. okay. It's just uh, no, no. That's absolutely because you. Yeah, I, it's it's already twelve. I want us like to advance a bit, even if we are not fully, even if we do not fully understand it, uh, just to have the workflow of doing it. Yeah, no, it's it's a, it's a shame that it they're not available. But if you go to GitHub, you find my my branch that pushed the. the oh yeah, no, yeah, I, I, you can find it there. Like I think John was correcting the INLA because the INLA package on the GitHub action was hard to implement, as you know. <laughs> but uh, and yeah. I think John finally succeeded. We will check that later. So yeah, pretty and, and, and I, I think I have seen your notes. They are nice, like because you include also the graph, and um, yeah, that that was a summary of these things. And so uh, I, can, I can stop sharing it, but yeah. 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 So uh, and uh, they are in the in the server. I don't know if you got uh, maybe I can share. Yeah, I'm, I'm stopping sharing it, but uh, I will. I can I can go back sharing if you need. No, it, like. it, yeah, I, I think it's uh, time is up. Uh, yeah, I, I will try to I will try to conclude. So the the special temporal data is as you see, it is just as a term here which, you know, just adding a term is easy, but it's not. So basically you are hiding uh, in the, this is, this is kind of complicated. See the model is, is, is by just adding time, you're adding a lot of complexities of it on the model. And uh, she's, she's using like, uh, yeah, I haven't going through, but let, let's put it for another time, I think. We, we should move on a bit and try another stuff. So I will just go like with this issue with RL data, which I think are important. And we can move on on chapter six later. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Okay. She brings so, two uh, interesting uh, two in interesting stuff, like uh, two problems with aggregated data, the misaligned data problem and the modifor modifiable RL unit problems. Uh, I think I have notes on them, so I should read them. But uh, anyway, so we'll just go with the book. The misalignment I feel is less problematic. Is the case where like uh, you do not have the um, uh, you can like for example have an aggregate um, as a new level, and um, <clears throat> let me check my notes. I think it's better. I do not know where they are. Anyway. So uh, let me check, maybe they're here. Mm, no, five. no, I do not know where I put my notes on it. Anyway, so. Uh, so I, I, I need to go. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, anyway, so next next week you're doing the chapter. Yeah, six. okay, I will do the sixth one. Okay, great. So I will try. Sorry. Yeah, okay, great. Uh, so yeah. Well, I've uh, got another meeting. Sure, sure. Go ahead. Bye. Yeah, you are, maybe you are. Uh, yeah, we have to go because I. Are you doing the air for uh, the do data science one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure. I can, maybe yeah. I will attend. Maybe I will be here. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'll we can. Ahead. I mean, I think we can stop here and go let. Uh, uh, I will build. I will uh, push something later. Yeah. Okay. We need okay. to leave. You. We need to free the Zoom. No problem. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. So, bye. Bye. We work on the notes so to make it understandable for everyone.